This how-to video will show you how to perform the pre-operational checks, including calibration of the flow sensor and a breathing circuit leak test. You'll also learn how to calibrate the O2 sensor and zero calibrate the CO2 sensor if this option is available. Make sure you always do the pre-operational checks before connecting a new patient to the ventilator and after you've connected a new breathing circuit or any other new component. You should be able to complete this whole module in less than eight minutes. Before starting the pre-op checks, make sure that the ventilator is connected to both primary power and an oxygen supply, that you are using the correct flow sensor for the patient, and that the breathing circuit is assembled correctly. Press the power standby key to turn on the ventilator. The ventilator will automatically run a self-test. Once that's finished, you can go ahead and select the correct patient group. To access the tests and calibration functions, touch Pre-op Check in the Standby window. The Tests and Calib window opens. A green check mark tells you the component is calibrated and ready, while a red X shows that the last calibration was not successful. If you see an empty box, this means that the test or calibration has not been carried out. If CO2 monitoring is not enabled, the box will be grayed out. Make sure you do a leak test and calibrate the flow sensor each time you've connected a new breathing circuit or component, including a flow sensor. The leak test checks whether there's any leakage in the patient breathing circuit. To do the leak test, Choose this function and then follow the instructions on the ventilator. Wearing a glove is recommended for this test. When the message saying disconnect patient appears on the screen, you should disconnect the test lung. When you see the message block breathing circuit, block the opening. Once the leak test has finished, the message reconnect patient set will appear. Now you can connect the breathing circuit again. When the test has been completed successfully, a green check mark will appear in the box. To calibrate the flow sensor, choose this function. When the message saying disconnect patient appears, you should disconnect the test lung and then attach the adapter to the flow sensor. When you see the message flip the flow sensor, flip the flow sensor around, then wait. and flip the flow sensor back to its starting position again. Once you've done that, you can disconnect the adapter from the flow sensor. When calibration has been completed successfully, a green check mark will appear in the box. The CO2 sensors are already calibrated before the ventilator leaves our factory, so you only need to zero calibrate the airway adapters. First, connect the sensor to the ventilator and check whether CO2 monitoring is enabled. Then wait about 90 seconds for the device to warm up. If you haven't already connected the airway adapter to the CO2 sensor, do that now. And make sure you keep these components away from all sources of CO2 and the exhaust port of the expiratory valve. It is important not to move the CO2 sensor during zero calibration. When zero calibration is complete, you should see a green check mark in the CO2 sensor checkbox. If you're using a coaxial breathing circuit, do these pre-operational checks before you connect an HME filter. Once you've done the test and calibration, you can place the HME filter between the patient and the flow sensor. You only need to calibrate the oxygen sensor if a red X is displayed in the O2 sensor checkbox or if there is a related alarm. You can calibrate the sensor either when the ventilator's in standby or during active ventilation. First, 
select the appropriate oxygen source, and make sure oxygen monitoring is enabled. To calibrate the sensor with 100% oxygen, set the oxygen control to 22% or higher. The high pressure gas source needs to be connected. Calibration takes around two minutes. When calibration is complete, you should see a green check mark in the O2 sensor checkbox. Instead, if calibration fails, a red X is displayed. Repeat calibration, and if the second attempt fails, replace the O2 sensor. If you're using low pressure oxygen or high pressure oxygen with less than 99% oxygen, disconnect all oxygen supplies before you start calibration. If the oxygen supply is disconnected, calibration will be performed with 21% oxygen, regardless of the current oxygen setting. Once you've finished the pre-op checks, the ventilator is ready to use. You can set up the ventilator for a particular patient and start ventilation. Or you can turn off the ventilator and keep it stored away, ready for use. All the test results of the pre-operational checks will remain stored in the memory, even when the ventilator is turned off. But make sure that the setup you calibrated is not changed or altered while the ventilator is in storage. To turn off the ventilator, press and hold the power standby key for about three seconds. It's best to keep the ventilator connected to its primary power source to maintain the battery charge and extend the battery's life. 